Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am so freaking excited because finally this weekend is over. It's been feeling like the market's been closed for such a long time. And I can't wait for tomorrow, Monday, finally to start making some money and see how new stock goes. Especially since we're inching closer and closer for Neo Day, which is coming up on January 9th, fourth annual Neo Day for Neo. And that should bring a lot of exciting news coming for the company for the next 2021 year and which we should be really uh, looking forward to its maybe two new cars and its first sedan model in addition to its 150 kilowatt battery and and hopefully a more updated a better maybe level four autonomous uh, advanced autonomous driving technology Let's see if they made any more advancements with that and if they do, it's going to be a big, big news. Also, Neil stock's been going crazy. If you, see, if you see here, if you invested anywhere close to its lowest points, then you're up well over 10x. And Neil has been doing very well. Neil beat its third quarter revenue expectations. But since the past month of Neil, the past month, Neil hasn't been doing that good because of the U.S. legislators passing basically uh, legislation that could remove Chinese stocks from the U.S. exchanges unless American regulators could review their financials. Neil B estimates for the third quarter, Neil lost 12 cents, which added revenue, which doubled up on 600 million, 666 million. And of course, they were expecting a bigger loss than just 12 cents per share. Anyway, that's very good. That's very good. And Another good thing that we've been looking at is that Neil's margins, vehicle margins, have expanded to 14.5%, which is compared to negative 6.8% a year ago, and a 9.7% in quarter two, which is crazy. Also, its cash doubled up in quarter two to, from quarter two, sorry, to 3.3 billion in quarter three. And that's what you want to see in a super growth stock like this. You're basically seeing 100% quarter over quarter growth and you don't see that kind of those kind of numbers with the, like from a company like this which is doing hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue and expecting to do billions of dollars next year and their margins are getting better from 9% to basically 14% so it's a 5% increase in their margins and their vehicle margins and analysts expect Neil to more than half their losses to 67 cents a share in all of 2020 then further continued like to lose lose less money in 2021 revenue is seen more than doubling this year and doubling again in 2021 so that's a hundred percent growth in both 2020 this year the end of 2020 and 2021 which is that's just insane growth 100 percent growth that's insane and that's why you see you know, at such a high uh, market cap because of the growth, 100% quarter over quarter growth and now year over year growth. It's still insane. Also in quarter two, new deliveries have vaulted 191% year over year. And in quarter three, it's gone up to 154%. And even though it's slowing down, it's still a lot of growth right there. And quarter four so far, we already see a double up. So we should see 100% growth again expected to see 100 percent growth wall street is growing more bullish on neo in october morgan stanley called neo a strong ev leader in the market and it's going to continue to grow also jp morgan forecast neo could take a massive 30 percent slice of the premium ev market and anyone that owns a neo has been seeing that it's a very good car lots of people saying that it's a very nice favorable word of mouth and for quarter four, uh, Neo seeing a deliveries between 16,500 and 17,000 vehicles, which is up 100%, 100, more than 100% from a year ago. And quarter three's growth is of 154%, and quarter two is 191%. And an interview cited by Barron CEO William Lee said Neo should reach an annual production capacity of 150,000 units by the end of 2021, which is very, very good considering Tesla this year is in 2020 wants to sell about 500,000 cars and Neo's trying to sell 150,000 cars next year, which makes sense. 
Tesla it has a six hundred billion dollar market cap and it's doing about ten times more deliveries than Neo. So and Neo's at sixty billion dollar market cap. So makes sense why Tesla's worth six hundred billion and Neo's worth under sixty billion. Tesla's selling ten times more cars. Tesla has ten times more market cap than Neo. And that's why it is how it is right now. And even after 2021, Neo aims to double again for 2022 for 300,000 units per year. And basically, that's way better than in 2019. In 2019, Neo did only 20,500 ish cars, and now it's doing about 40, 50,000 cars. And next year, it's expected to do 150,000, and in 2022, 300,000. So that's a that's still that's huge growth, and I don't think after after that they shouldn't be growing over 100%. It's gonna be kind of tough, maybe even and even if they're doing 50% growth, that's still 450,000 cars by 2023. And that's a lot of cars, and and if it continues going by that, they should be selling a million cars in well over six seven years from now, and maybe even two million cars in ten years, which is very very good. Also, the Chinese market in China right now is about 3% EV and they're expected to sell about 10% by 2025 of all cars because of China really wants to switch into the electric vehicles to st solve their um, their pollution problems over there, which is good. They're really pushing to get into electric vehicles, which in 2021 should really increase sales even more. And by 2025, they want to have a 25% of all new car sales to be electric cars. And Neo reports very strong demand for the new EC6, meaning that it's about um, eight weeks. You have to be on a waiting list for about eight weeks before you can get your EC6, which means there's a lot of demand for the cars. And in 2020, Neo launched a battery as a service, a subscription plan for batteries, essentially the car and battery are sold separately, right? And users can buy an electric car for way cheaper and just uh, buy the batteries for a monthly fee, depending on the needs of the vehicle that they're driving at the time. And I'm super bullish on Neo for the long term. I wouldn't su uh, suspect that this stock would be $100 in next year or even the year after that. Don't, ex don't expect another 2,000 or 1,000% 1, growth in one year. That's not realistic, in my opinion. And many analysts, um, they're offering their 12 months price forecast for NEO. And um, just the median price target for in the next 12 months is 300. There's no way that this st stock hits 300, in my opinion, because that means it would be basically, what is that? Oh, I'm like 7x, 7, 8x from now, unless NEO start selling 200,000 cars being expectations tremendously then I don't see you know jumping up that much I expect more of a like, clo close to like 80 or 90 80 to 120 dollars per share by the end of 2021 and that's still pretty good that can be a 2x to 3x in the next year and then after that can easily reach 150 to 200 bucks in the next two years by the end of 20 2022 but like I said these analysts are really looking into it hitting $300 a share.